old diesels, if you have any starting issues, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be your glow plugs. Now these are little tiny rods that sit inside your engine. You put your ignition on, heats up the air inside so that your initial start has got a much warmer combustion chamber, can ignite the fuel that much easier. I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna show you how to test them and how to replace them. Now I'm quite fortunate. On my Peugeot, they are fairly accessible. So mine are there, there's one there, one there, a little less accessible there and one that's possibly gonna be a nightmare down there. And when I bought the car, three had been replaced, one had been left in the, in the passenger door card um, and I'm pretty sure it's the one there because it looks a bit of a pain to get to. Um, hopefully not fuel pump out because if it is, that ain't getting done today. I had one go down a few weeks ago. I had the apprentice take them out to replace them. He could only get two out, which was these two. And he's replaced that one there because that one didn't work. I suspect another one's gone down because I'm now having a lot of trouble starting in the cold, which is really upsetting my neighbors. So uh, I'm gonna take the intercooler off because it looks like it's gonna be a lot easier to access without the intercooler in place. And um, yeah, we'll see what we've got to play with. Okay, intercooler's off. Um, I have never seen under here and I can see one hell of an oil leak from my rocker cover. So we'll worry about that another day. Um, it has given me a lot more access so I can get my fat hands down. So first thing I'm gonna do is try and take off the nuts. They're all eight mil. I'll start with the easiest one to get to and try not to drop it. I do like these engines. Whoever designed them did not think about access to things like this. That's two. So I'm going to work on these other two, the two that are a bit tough to get to, and uh, I'll come back to you. Right, we're all off. All four, well, all four nuts are off, and I've managed to save three of them. So that's actually, I'm going to call that a win, because they're a pain. So next step, I've got to pull this little wire off. So this little wire joins all four of them together so that they all get their power and turn the ignition on at the same time. Uh, if you've got a modern car, you won't necessarily have that one rail of wires, for want of a better term. Um, in fact, I can show you here. So this, this wire here, this little red one here, that is the main supply to the glow plugs. And if I get my fingers further down there. On. So this is the wire that joins all four of them together. So you can see it literally just connects to the end of each glow plug and uh, sends power to all of them. So yeah, if you haven't got that, you might just have individual plugs that go over that you just pull off. Um, that's the more modern way of doing, doing these. So the next thing I've got to do then is pull them out. So I have special glow plug sockets. You haven't got to use these, but it helps. Um, I'm gonna say, let's see if there are 12. That was a good guess. So yeah, so it is literally just a case of undoing them. Um, yeah, I'm not too bothered about the drop nut, by the way, because my new glow plugs have new nuts. So um, it will just be a case of undoing. And I can do it one-handed. So this is the supposed good one. I'm gonna keep these in order as I take them out. So when I test them, I know which ones are working, which ones aren't. That is my new glow plug. You can see there is quite a bit of deposit on the end of that, which could be the fuel we're using, um, but that shouldn't stop it from starting. So I'm gonna put these in order. So I know that's number three. So I'm gonna work on getting the rest out and I'm really hoping I can get to this one down here um, with my sockets. And uh, cause that's the one that wasn't replaced. They do also have a habit of snapping. Uh, so fingers crossed that doesn't happen and I'll come back to you in a moment. Right, all four are out. So they all kind of look the same. That's number four, number three, that's the new one. Number two, and I did get number one out. I ended up having to use a swan neck spanner um, and it was quite tight coming out, but there they are. So how to test them. Now, I could test some brand new ones, but I'm not going to, because I want to see if these work. I'm going to replace them all anyway, possibly, uh, probably even the new one. I might just keep it as a spare. Um, but all I'm going to use is a simple jump pack. And if I put you in my legs, 
There we go. So we're going to go the end terminal, the very end on the positive side, and we're going to ground out through the body like so. Now this is number one, this is the one that's never been replaced and we're going to turn it on and what we should see is that end there glowing and clearly it is not. So that one's duff. Let's go to number two. Oh. Let's try again. Maybe you, can you see that's glowing? I'm not gonna do it for too long. So we know that that one actually is a good glow plug. It's, oh, it smells nice. Number three, this one is brand new and I will, well, it was in the box. It was in a new box, so I'm going to hope it's brand new and should work. Yep, there we go, working. Lovely. And uh, finally, this one was tested the other day, so it should also be working. And it's not. So there's our starting problem. We've only got two of the four glow plugs working. So well, I've got a couple of spares there now anyway, so that's not a bad thing. So these are NGK glow plugs, never had a problem with NGK. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take the nut off now. It is literally just a case of, as the old Haynes manual say, um, refitting is reversal of removal or something like that. Basically, it all goes back together as it came apart. We're all back together, finally. I did actually use every single one of those nuts that I saved because they all kept falling down. So they're in like little crevices and stuff in the engine. I've checked, they're not going to do any harm. They'll just live there until the engine gets a rebuild or something, probably. Or I hit a big enough pothole. Um, but yeah, so they're all in. The car should now, should now start the best it's ever started. Because I'm guessing that other glow plug, number one, um, has been like it since new so we'll wait for the glow plug light to clear bit hunty but it's always done that yeah starts absolutely fine so thank you for watching hope this helps you uh, yeah if you've got any questions any comments hit me up below and i'll see you next time